In today's video, I want to look at using the if function in Excel. If you're looking to take the Excel 2019 exam, the if function is one of those functions that you could be asked to perform. And so you want to make sure that you are familiar with using this function if that's your path. The if function is one of those functions that cause people the most grief. But with practice, it can easily become one of the functions that you enjoy using because it's going to help you with your work productivity. We're going to put our cursor in H5. And what we're going to do is have the if function look at the G column, the hours column. And it's going to look at each one of the employees to determine if the employee worked more than 30 hours. If it did, we're actually going to leave the cell blank. If the employee didn't work that many hours, we're going to put the text increase hours. I'm going to click the insert function button. For the certification exam, I want to encourage you to use the insert function button because the function builder helps walk you through a function. It actually will add things to your function if you forget to type it out. And this could be a benefit to you on the exam. If you manually hang key in a function like this, you might miss a step and you're going to get an error message. Using the function builder might help you get through a task like this. So again, I want to encourage you to use the function builder. We're going to go ahead and search for the function if. We can see that the if function checks whether a condition is met and returns one value if true and another value if false. We'll click OK. Our logical test for this is going to be to look at G5 and see is it greater than 30. Excel is already telling us that this is true. If it wasn't true, it would say false. And if you keyed in an argument that it can't understand, it's going to come back with an error message there. Our value is true is what do we want Excel to do if Excel deems that the argument is true? For our example, we're just not going to type in anything. We're going to hit tab. We're just going to leave it blank and we're going to change that later. Our value if false is what do we want Excel to do if the logical test comes back as false? And we said that we wanted to add the text increase hours. On the certification exam, as you're typing in text, I want to encourage you to pay careful attention to how it's typed. For this, I have capital letters for increase in hours, but on the exam, it might be all lowercase. You might have to add a period. Again, I just want to encourage you to read that task carefully. That way you type it out exactly as they want. Watch what happens when I hit tab on my keyboard. Notice that Excel put quotation marks around increase hours. That is a requirement for text. Had you been manually hand keying that out and you did not put those quotation marks, you're going to come back with an error message. I want to encourage you to use a function builder for this. Let's go ahead and click OK. Notice it came back with 00. zero. We're going to click and drag that down. Notice that the employees that didn't work enough hours, it says increase hours. For the employees that met that requirement, it puts in 00. zero. For this, I don't think I want to have 00, zero as the return value. So we're going to look at changing that. And then for increase hours, instead of doing that, let's go ahead and just add five hours to the employee. That'll help them when they get paid. So we'll hit Control Z on our keyboard to undo what we did. With our cursor in H5, we'll click Insert Function. And notice it brings that window back up with all of the things that we had put in there. Our value of true for this, we're just going to go ahead and put quotation mark, quotation mark. What that will do is leave this cell blank. I'm going to hit Tab. For our value of false, remember we said we were going to add five hours to each employee. So what we'll do is we'll do G5 plus five and we'll click OK. Notice now that our cell is blank because the employee worked more than 40 hours. It's just going to be empty. And when I click and drag this down, notice that the new hours were added together. This employee now has 33 hours. 28 plus five is 33. I do want to note that we just did a simple calculation of cell plus five. But you could do something more than that. You could actually put functions within this function. That's called nesting. On the certification exam, I can't see them asking you to do that on this specific type of function. But you should note that you can do it. Hopefully, after watching this, you feel a little bit less apprehensive about using the if function. I want to encourage you again to practice using this function if you're going to take the Excel certification exam. And ultimately, I hope that you can use this function in your workbooks to help your productivity when working with the program.